guys at the so sorry for posting so late okay i'm really sorry it's school has just started and oh my hair okay da, da, da. don't look at my hair it's, it's not my hair. but um so yeah school is start is start has started and it's a little hard things are it's a little hard to you know manage both so and i this is three weeks after so i don't have an excuse so right now I'm going to make it up to you by posting this video and I'm going to post the next video a week from now. So today is uh, Monday. So next Monday, a video. Okay. And um, also, before we get started, um, so I have these two channels called Monkey Bros and QBDO. And I'll put the link in the description. So yeah, they're my f good friends of mine. So check out their channels. And this is a short video, so don't think. And this was originally meant to be an animated one, but it isn't anymore. But I did ma try to make it like up to you guys by putting in custom images that I made. So let's see. Some of these things aren't mine, so don't think that all of them are. But the ones that are the worst ones, yeah, they are mine. Okay, so let's roll the intro. Bye bye. Um, bye. Roll the intro. Get strong. Hi guys, Adit here. So, have you ever wondered what it would be like to have superpowers? Well, you should ask the li this little guy, the Tardigrade. My man, probably your man. I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have even said that. Right? Okay. The charge grid is the most extreme survivalist. Extreme. It can survive anything ranging from being crushed to being thrown into space. And also, as an added bonus, they look co so cute. But don't tell Tardigrid I said that. He hates it when I call him cute. There are 3,000 species of Tardigrades. All of them looking cute. And all of them love water. They always require a thin layer of water around it to prevent it from dehydration. Tardigrades have been observed in all kinds of places, from sand dunes to the bottom of the sea. Though freshwater mosses and lichens are their preferred habitats. Hence the name, water bear. I don't see the bear in them, but eh. It's the science community, right? Tardigrades may look squishy, but they're covered in a rock-hard cuticle, like my rock-hard abs. Okay, that made me laugh. Um, I don't have that. Their cuticle are, is similar to other insects, the little insects, grasshoppers, praying mantis, and many others. Though the tardigrade is smaller than all these insects, it's still, it's still the strongest out of all of them. Like all of those other insects, it has to shed these cuticles in order to grow. Tardigrades have four to six claws on each of their feet, which allows them to grip onto the plants. And then they suck the innards using a special mouthpiece. And it, they suck out all the innards and all the nutrients from the plant, leaving them to die. Eh. Tardigrades belong to an elite category of animals known as extreme file okay science words again i'm not good at it or critter but these i get i think it means that they're extreme survivors they can survive most things that we can't like when tardigrades were sent into space one step for tardigrades second step for trying to get big and most of all these things that the tardigrades have been into space survived. So, yeah. It's kind of like a 90% success rate. I wonder what happened to the t other 10%. Eh. And when scientists examine those, some of the tardigrades, some of the females lay eggs in space. And all the, the people, all the t baby tardigrades came out healthy. But not just that. When scientists bombarded a tardigrade with bunches, a bunch of radiation, 
the tardigrades started mutating or it didn't do anything. Nothing happened to that tardigrade. You know why? Because it it has it just survived six thousand grays and it didn't get hurt in any way. Five six thousand grays. Sorry, I, I was thinking of how many humans can say can survive. And it's about five grays per week. And they, they need this. They, but how do they survive this kind of stuff? Well, you're probably yelling this at the screen, saying, Wow, 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 very well aware that I can't hear you. Well, they have a special protein in their DNA called the SUP. Yup, the science community really knows how to name things. This is for for damage suppressor, and it can protect d it it protects DNA from getting hurt from things like ionizing radiation, which is why our little friends can survive six thousand grays while you can hardly survive five. <coughs> which you can, and this ionizing radiation is inside the soil, water, and vegetation. Tiny for us, but for the tardigrade who is a few one millimeter long and wide. It's a pretty big deal. But their second survival techniques, technique, because the sup alone can't save you. The second survival technique is cryptobiosis. A state where they just curl up and stay still. Kind of anti-climatic. Don't you think, tardigrades? This is caused by a certain, a sudden dry spell. The mic animal squeezes all the water out of its body and then they just roll into a ball. When water comes back, they come back and say, eh. And then they go to back to their jobs. Wait, do tardigrades have jobs? Huh. Naturally, tardigrades have unused. So imagine if one day we could harness the power of these small creatures and live forever, or at least a long time. Yeah, and with genetic modification tools starting to be reality, who knows? But that is another video. So keep watching and have a good day. Jita Labs signing out.